today I have a pink velvet cupcake review. Hey guys, it's April and welcome back to my channel. Before I get started today's video, I just wanted to remind you guys to hit the subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. It would really help my channel out a lot, so I'd really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing an in-depth review on the new Pink Velvet Cupcake Fragrance. This is new to Bath & Body Works. This is part of their fall collection. Not the fall traditions, but like part of their fall collection. They always have two that come out. The first one usually arrives somewhere, um, I think, in like the beginning or middle of August. And then they have another collection that comes out towards the end of August. Um, so this is like the second collection. It includes other scents like Twilight Woods and Autumn Nights. Um, and I think there's also one more. I'm trying to remember what it is, but I can't think of it off the top of my head right now. But this is like the new scent right now. Twilight Woods might be new to some people. Same with Autumn Nights. Autumn Nights came out, I think, last year. And then Twilight Woods came out a long time ago, but it got retired. So it's making a little comeback right now. But this is like the new fragrance that everybody's talking about. Everybody wants to try it. Everybody wants to know, should this be an item that I pick up? Oh yeah, so the other scent was Bonfire Bash. That's one I couldn't remember. Um, anyway, so this is the new pink velvet cupcake fragrance it is so pretty this is the shea cream on the back it says sweetness scents the air memories of lovingly made desserts swirl about pink velvet cupcake it's the season's most comforting confection the keynotes are sparkling red berries whipped pink marshmallow and sugared praline and like a lot of other people have said bath and body works is using a lot of praline this fall which is really interesting um, so first of all, the packaging on here is so beautiful and gorgeous. This also comes in the Fine Fragrance Mist, a shower gel, and I believe it comes out in a body lotion, although I haven't seen it in stores. I have seen it on, I forgot where I saw it, but I saw it posted somewhere online. So it might have been like from Bath & Body Works or it might have been from like somebody that I follow who's like also obsessed with Bath & Body Works, but I saw the lotion version of this somewhere online. But in my store, they only had it in the shade cream, so I picked it up in the shade cream. And you guys, this smells so good. I'm gonna try it on. So this is like what the color looks like. It has a little bit of yellow to it. I find that a lot of like the sweeter scents have like some type of yellow um, look to the creams. Oh my gosh. You guys, this smells amazing. Okay, so a lot of people are comparing this to Velvet Sugar and I could totally see why. To me, Velvet Sugar smells like very sweet like super sweet and i don't think of it as like a holiday scent i think of it as like a february scent you know what i mean like it's like a very just sweet lovey i don't know maybe girly scent i don't know how to explain it like it's just a very sweet scent this one is a little bit more sophisticated and the strongest note to me is the cranberries like to me like i could the first thing that i smell when i smell this is the cranberries This smells so good. As it dries down, I could smell the praline. I don't know what a whipped pink marshmallow is. Thank you, Queen of the Girl Geeks, for pointing that out. I think that's so funny, but I think they're just trying to say that there's some type of like whipped cream or marshmallow base to it, which I think was what makes the scent very soft. It's not like an in-your-face uh, like berry scent. It's like a soft cranberry scent. It's it's very nice. I really like this scent. I honestly wasn't sure if I was going to like it because I just emptied out all of my Velvet Sugar collection recently. So I thought I was going to be like really bored with this scent. But I like this one a lot better than Velvet Sugar. And I did like Velvet Sugar a lot up until recently since I just finished using up the whole thing. So now I'm like, okay, no more Velvet Sugar for a while. You know how like sometimes you get like sick of a scent. But this one, you guys, this smells so amazing. Like I cannot stop smelling this. And what's great about this scent is even though it's a berry scent, it's not like an annoying berry scent. Like I know some people who don't like the scent of strawberries or berries in general, and they think that this scent smells good. And I'm like, this is a berry scent. And they're like, no way. Like it just smells like a very like sophisticated, it's definitely like a fall wintry scent. That's what I wanted to mention earlier is that this scent is definitely like a fall or winter scent. Um, it's definitely on the sweeter side of it, but this definitely has that like depth to it where you know that it's a cranberry, like it's a winter berry. It's not like a summer berry scent. This is definitely like to get your summer fix throughout like the fall and winter, but this smells just so good. It's really amazing. Um, I really like how the shade cream formula is. I find that the shade creams 
are more moisturizing than lotions so lately I have been buying more of the shea creams versus the lotions um, this one has aloe shea butter and cocoa butter on it um, if I had to pick a scent to relate this to I would say that it definitely smells the closest to velvet sugar but it almost has like a twist on it um, maybe if you were to like mix it some people are saying mixing it with amber blush but for me it's like maybe mixing it with like sugared cranberry cider or winterberry wonder like but it's just not as berry full like there might be like some type of softness to it like the whipped um pink marshmallow i think it was so with that mix to it it definitely like tones it down a lot but it definitely has that like winter berry kind of scent where you know that this isn't like a summer berry scent and it just smells really beautiful um, I definitely want to pick this up in more different forms of it, like in the spray or the shower gel or something. Um, but this smells really good. Again, the packaging is like so beautiful. It's like a perfect mix of like girly and then fall, you know. Um, I do wish that this one would have had more of like a cupcake vibe on it. But um, nevertheless, the packaging is still really pretty. The scent is amazing. I'm really impressed with this scent. Um, Bath and Body Works has been releasing a lot of different new scents within the last like two years during the fall collection and this one is definitely my favorite new scent from the fall collections both from the fall traditions and this fall collection. So if you guys like this scent let me know in the comments below what you guys think about it. Um, I would definitely give this one like a solid like 9 out of 10 just because my 10 out of 10 is my Beach Night Summer Marshmallow. That one is my top favorite. Nothing can beat it. Um, at least so far, but um, this one is definitely like a solid nine or nine and a half. It's really good and I definitely want to pick this out in more different formulas. Um, so yeah, if you guys like this scent, let me know in the comments below. I'd really love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a glamorous rest of your day. Bye!